we try to introduce uh, students to these classic works, you know, we, we think they might be sort of stuffy or inaccessible, but from what you're saying, I mean, this text is wonderfully engaging for kids. What do you think, uh, what do you think students or young people today um, can gain from, from being introduced to a work like uh, Journey to the West? Well, I think that there is a, um, I'm glad you, you, you mentioned that, there are a couple of things, which, which is the, third. the second reason is strictly personal. As I said, I learned Chinese uh, first hearing it as oral stories. There were, there, were, there were no televisions, no YouTubes back in those days, all right, in the early 1940s, to, to relieve the terror as well as the tedium of war. My grandfather was a wonderful storyteller. This is one of the human beings' oldest and the most trustworthy, for me, way of telling a story. And I was very grateful to have a grandfather who was a terrific ta tale teller. And he told the story, sometimes straight, sometimes adding his own little uh, embroidery to, 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 the, to, to the story and so forth. And. Uh, it, then when I ask him to tell me some more, he says, well, why didn't you pay more attention to Chinese? And he bought me comic versions of Journey to the West. And I started to say, not just the photographs, I want to read a couple of the sentences that talk about the story. And it, gave, it motivated me to start, start learning the script. And finally, I graduated so that by the time before I was 10, I read the entire novel several times. Now, I didn't read it as I would read it now, but that really was the foundation of my um, studying Chinese. And that in itself uh, is uh, an indirect answer to Chris's question because this, the, the, the tale is really marvelous in the sense that it, I think it, it attests to its popularity because it has very, differently individualized characters that are also can be seen as representative of a wider community, all right? In fact, I would challenge any Chinese who knows the story now, can you think of a f more funny figure in Chinese literature, ancient or modern contemporary, who is funnier than the pig? I mean, I can name some very good comic figures in Western literature, but this is not about the Western literature, this is about Chinese. This, when you think about it, what other character can rival the attractiveness of being a comic character and yet very, very personable, very lovable, all right? Never destructively <coughs> funny and yet definitely funny. A pig who loves to eat, who loves sex, who loves, as soon as he, he did bad, he was going to help the monk to, to, on a pilgrimage. As soon as the monster appeared, he says, let me go first to, to have a nap first, and I'll fight with you. You know, I mean, anything that he could get out, this, this is, and, and the characterization is consistent, and so forth, and so forth. So the, the, I certainly have, in, in teaching that in classes in, my, in myself, with younger college students all the way up to graduate level. But I'm, what I'm very proud is that over the years that I have a small stack of, of uh, letters uh, written to me by high school students. Mm -hmm. This is get, make, getting down to the high school level now. Uh, this was before, in fact, the abridged version came out. I was very, very surprised that some high school had chosen to read passages from the un a bridge version, and nothing. And one girl, her her email address is called Karate Girl, and she's from Denver. I don't know her her her, her uh, actual given the I I don't want to disclose it, but it was very funny because she is only a soft. She was a sophomore last year. She's in thinking of applying to the college of the University of Chicago because she had read the entire four volumes, 100 chapters. 
And she said, I promise you, I said, if I'm well, I'm so well, even though I'm not teaching, I will meet with you, and you can, we can talk about the journey to the West. So it's, it is a work that has many, many layers. Yeah. 